Hello and welcome to Road Trip Guys. How do you feel about redwoods? I love redwood. It repels insects, weather, rot. It's lightweight, looks great, lasts forever. Not redwood, redwoods. Oh, redwoods, like the trees. Mm. Yeah, I like them too. Mm. Located along the coast of far northern California, in what is appropriately called the Redwood Empire, you'll find the Redwood National and State Parks. Although you can find coast redwoods along much of California's north coast, Redwood National and State Parks protect many of the remaining old growth trees left in California. The tallest trees in the world, these truly magnificent giants inspire awe among all who see them. Imagine what the first Europeans to see these trees must have said. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. Wow! What amazing trees are these? Yes, fellow Pioneer Michael. These would be great for building stuff. Let's cut them all down. Fortunately, early European settlers didn't manage to cut them all down. And a visit to this beautiful part of California is a worthy addition to your bucket list. There are actually three types of trees called redwoods. The dawn redwood, native to China, and the coast redwood and giant sequoia. Interestingly, the dawn redwood was thought to have been extinct for millions of years until 1944 when it was rediscovered. The coast redwood and giant sequoia are both native to California and both superlative. The coast redwoods, as the tallest trees in the world, grow up to 380 feet in height. That's 115 meters for our metric friends. The giant sequoia, which grows in the western slopes of the Sierra Nevada mountains, are the most massive trees in the world. Hey, let's go see the giant sequoias. Oh, yeah! Newton, go find subscribers. You know, we better finish this video first. Oh, okay. While coast redwoods are not the oldest trees in the world, with a lifespan of over 2,000 years, they're pretty darn ancient. Hmm, what's 2,000 years in metric? Redwoods are also one of the most valuable trees in the lumbering industry. P. H. Shaughnessy, chief engineer of the San Francisco Fire Department, wrote after the 1906 earthquake, we succeeded in finally stopping the fire in nearly all directions where the exterior of the unburned buildings were almost entirely of redwood lumber. There are miles and miles and miles and miles of hiking trails in Redwood National and State Parks. There are plenty of places to camp in the area, from RV parks to backcountry tent camping. You can ride a bike, have a picnic, hang out on one of the nearby beaches, or just spend some quiet time in the majesty of these ancient and wondrous trees. It may be just what your soul needs. The Northern California coast has a cool, foggy climate. Even in summer, the high temperature here is only in the 60s Fahrenheit, and it's frequently overcast. You want to know a secret? September and October are the best time of year to visit the California Redwoods. There are no crowds, and it's often the warmest time of year up on the North Coast. Don't tell people that. It's a California secret. Oh, oh I already did. Uh, nobody's watching. There are multiple visitor centers in the area. We highly recommend stopping in at one of them. Park staff and park partners are on duty to help with information and trip planning advice. While many of the roads in the area are good, others are unsuitable for an RV. Before taking your rig on a scenic backcountry drive, do your homework or check with one of the visitor centers to make sure your route is, uh, um, suitable. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to play Who Wants to Be a Road Trip Guy? What is California's state motto and also the largest city on California's north coast? Um, uh, I'm gonna have to phone a friend. Okay. Hello? Hey, Buff. 
Um, I'm on Who Wants to Be a Road Trip Guy, and I have a question for you. What is California's state motto and also the largest city on California's north coast? Hmm, I don't know. <gasps> Eureka! Oh, good, you got it. What is it? Um, it's Eureka. Oh, Eureka! Excellent. Eureka! is located on Humboldt Bay and is important in early California history. It originally grew prosperous as a seaport to process and ship lumber from the surrounding forests. Eureka! It has a nice old town historic district where much of the Victorian architecture has been handsomely restored. You will find eclectic shops, galleries, and some great places to eat. Be sure to drive by the Carson Mansion. You can't go inside, but it's one of the most amazing Victorian mansions in California. If you're not camping, you may want to make your home base the town of Eureka. Eureka. Ow! I thought it was my turn. I thought it was my turn. This Eureka thing is probably getting kind of old anyway. Many of the lumber mills have now closed, and in the last few decades, the economy here has taken some hits. But Eureka is still a charming place. Eureka makes me think of Monterey before it became all rich and touristy. If you haven't been to the Redwoods, go. They're one of those things you just have to see for yourself. To paraphrase the great American author, John Steinbeck, once you see the Redwoods, they will stay with you always. Nobody has ever successfully painted or photographed a Redwood tree. The feeling is not transferable. Redwoods are ambassadors from another time. Newton, go find subscribers. Good boy.